is it working okay hi guys and while we wait for some uh, few a few important games while i wait personally for a few important games to come out i decided to go ahead and play some other old flash games in the meanwhile just to cover up my uploading schedules and uh, you can know that this is an old one because you can see like right over here like very small return it's like 2003 god damn it this one is old this one is called die in style and it's basically um uh i'm not sure if you've seen this kind of games it's a you know stickman based uh, flash game on a stick page and it's basically you have a stick man that is like sentenced to murder for like a various amount of crimes and you have to like choose how he dies you know and it's it's not very pretty i'm gonna tell you that much i remember i played this game like such a long time ago as just a kid and uh, for me back then in 2003 those were these were like the top games you know Click my head. Hello, what do you want? Oh yeah, I remember and his fucking voice was like so awesome, like oh they might yeah. kill me, but they won't scare me. Yeah. I laugh at the face of death. <laughs> I gotta add the laughter at the end, man. This is a misuse of my energy. Alright. What are we doing here anyway? Does any of it matter? Oh yeah, does any of it matter? If this is death. I'm ready. Let's get on with it. Holy shit, this is this guy is completely badass. Hello, what do you want? Alright, and in loops. So yeah, this is basically how it is, and it's a very simple game, it's very limited as you can see. You only have like what uh six, seven options in which to kill him and then the extras which has a few extra scenes and infos, which I'm going to also check out because as I said this game is relatively short. So uh yeah, let's uh let's get on with it as he says. We'll try uh, we'll get take them in order. Testing knives, attempt number one. Yeah, so this is the guy, you know, he gets thrown into this death chamber. You know, why use like lethal injection or like electric chair when you can put him up for like weird death experiments? Oh yeah, bad idea. Well uh, Alright, well, I guess that's good, you know, don't mind the scientist that has been lost. Why didn't you do that in the first place? Alright, attempt number two. Oh, that looks bad. Holy crap, ca catching the knife in me there. Uh, ro did. Uh, yeah, it's gone. Oh, nice. Wow, he didn't even try to block that fucking baton, he just took it to the face like a boss. <laughs> Alright, well now it's just... No way to go. <laughs> Did it? Oh, that was completely uncalled for. The fucking scientist just like went and like freaking uh, <laughs> killed the other bodyguard by accident, and then the first knife hit his belt that like kept him to the wall. Oh my god! And then the other one just like flipped out and just like killed him on the spot. So scientist KIA2, guards KIA1, total KIA3, attempts 3, recommended as an execution method, no. Alright, good to know, let us check the sword. Uh, this is interesting. Are you still going to send in scientists for for this? This guy is like a fucking train murderer, if I remember correctly from the extras. I mean, he has some experience. Yeah, just... Wow, awesome. Oh, he has a sword now. Watch out. Oh, well, they have guns. Reasonable guy, when he's faced with a gun, he does drop the sword. Well, now what? The hand is still there. Oh, oh that's nasty. Yeah, still not recommended. It still killed one scientist and one guard. But, you know, the first scientist was like, just dumb. Do you, that's how you go? You just charge him with a sword, with a katana, while he's sitting against the wall? That's such a bad idea, you know? He, he just dodges and then you're like, you're boned. Like, it's just stupid. But hey, not all scientists are Einstein, you know? Some scientists are, you know, not, not say dumb, but less, like, practical, let's say. Bow and arrows. 
All right then. Well, you might as well just catch the arrow from the air from what we've seen. Oh, it's like very far away, I see. Um <laughs> Why did you just sit there and wait for it? Don't even try to dodge? Oh, that's just Yeah, let's just grab nine scientists for a testing purposes and have them all fire bows. I'm actually amazed that they managed to land those two shots. So it did take two attempts, but hey, no, no additional KIA and the subject was terminated. So then apparently it's a recommended measure. I don't think like it's really that recommended considering that he just sit there and took it like whatever, you know. Alright, ooh, the shotgun. Now that's I mean, it, uh, it's gonna end like one way or the other, but it's gonna be brutal no matter what. All this blood on the walls, like what happened in this place? Yep, it's just gonna... Wow, he just missed every single one of those colors. And it, there he goes. I'm amazed that they weren't like separated into attempts, you know, like he did two, two shots to kill him. What are the odds? Like that, that was also hilarious when I first watched it, I couldn't like keep my letter. What are the odds to fire off a shotgun at like such a close range and every single pellet to miss the target? It's ridiculous. Okay, so for until now we have... Uh, Shotgun and arrows as uh, recommended methods of execution, which is understandable. I mean, against a murderer, you don't really want to get into close range with like knives and things. What is this though? We have some high tech stuff around here. Oh, the MP Warbot. Yeah. We don't know exactly in which time period this is happening. I assume it's the future, but it could be the present. We will never know. Wow. Ooh. He was just unfazed by that heat. Ouch. Oh god. <laughs> Oh, that guy hurt. Pretty bad. Alright, so another one that works. I'm actually uh, impressed. Like, that warbot, not only that it was very powerful, but like the, um, uh, you know, the things that they were saying, they were designed to like instill fear and hatred into the victim. So, um, if you also want to torture him as well as execute him, I think it was pretty good. But I don't know, it, its moves patterns seem kind of predictable. So uh, if the test subject wasn't like a complete idiot, he might have been able to dodge them. But we don't know, maybe he just like, when he punched him first, maybe it like hurt his arm because, you know, you punched metal. So I don't know, if he had like any sort of weapon, I think he would have had a much better chance against the robot. Alright, so sniper rifle, huh? Well, I mean, fucking arrows did it, like, sniper rifle is gonna be just, like, too easy. Alright. Oh, you're actually giving him a gun? <laughs> Love you how he doesn't trust it. Oh, yeah. Well, dude, you only got one shot at this. Go for it. Yeah, you have to close the range. He does uh, know how to work, you know. Have to close range against the sniper. Oh, that was a miss. Oh, it's gonna get him. It's gonna get him. Oh, all over the place. Oh, that looks nasty. And one of my friends is inviting me on playing Rocket League. Oh, nice slow-mo over there. Yeah. That's... Wow, his body actually reached all the way to him. So he was very close. Like, he was extremely close, like, getting, uh, getting uh, the scientist there. I mean, if he was, like, a little bit more lucky with his shots. Probably because he was running as he was shooting, like my experience from Counter-Strike does 
uh, tell me that uh, your aim is very bad while you're running, which is understandable. Maybe he like stopped to take a few shots, but then again he put himself at risk for um, another like sniper shot. Although the thing is that the sniper was like in direct, it was like face to face towards him, so he couldn't like uh, he had to like basically run uh, in in different directions in order to avoid it. You know, it was much harder for him. It, if it was like from the side, he might have been able to do it, but you know. Anyway, uh, pretty cool so far. All right, and we have one more thing. I think I noticed like this uh, one shines when we get it. So I think if I remember correctly, there's something special. Semi-automatic rifle. All right. Um, someone is missing. I love the fucking head scratch every time. Whoa! All right, getting right into action. You missed. Oh, bullseyes! Ah, it's over. And you just, just charge a guy with an assault rifle, it's fine. All of them just have regular pistols. Okay, well, seems that we're getting way ahead. A sound close by. Oh, alright. Just, you know, just some guys minding their own business. Translated. <laughs> Oh boy. Oh my god. Fought transmitter. Sometimes I wish I never left my room. Oh my god. I'm a dead man. Oh, I'm gonna have to change my underwear. Uh, too late for death. death. They are all gone. Too late for that, bro. Damn. Fucking cold bloody dude. How much ammo does he have left in that thing? Oh, watch out! I see you. Not anymore. Not when I have a rifle. The ending. It fills me with peace. Ah, so ironic, isn't it? Subject escaped. KIA uh, a lot, just fucking a lot. And recommended. I love how they say and A is like, you know, we don't know technically because the subject just escaped from the experiment. Uh, we, we'll have to like redo the test, you know, just to make sure. Alright, that was pretty cool. And yeah, if we can go ahead and check out the extras, we have like the character's bio, we have the primary test subject. Look at this guy. Oh, he has life sentence, you know, not like death sentence or whatever. 54 accounts of murder in the first degree, 32 accounts of assault, 27 of destroying public property, 21 of resisting arrest, 12 of grand theft auto, 11 of disobeying road rules, 9 of breaking and entering, 7 for speeding, 7 of theft, and 2 for of kidnapping, 2 of fraud, 1 of impersonating a police officer, 1 of littering, yeah, that that's the good one. And four of unpaid parking fines. Th those final ones, those are, those are the ones, you know, those are the ones that made the difference. 24 years old. Man, this guy had a very eventful life. Remorseless, highly intelligent, fascinated with death, obsessed with his victims, expert in armed and unarmed combat, in short, the perfect killer. During the military at the age of 18, but was dishonorably discharged at the age of 20 for insubordination and misuse of firearm that resulted in the wounding of his commanding officer. That's never a good uh, good start for a story. Name for himself in the criminal underworld as a ruthless killer for hire. It is now believed that he number of murders he committed is closer to 150 rather than the 54 he was found guilty for. Well, we can never know. Sufficient evidence to support this claim. He was arrested in 2003 while attempting to complete one of his contracts. His last contract was in fact a trap that our own people had given him. Wow. Head scientist. Yeah, look at this guy. 31. Clearance code A1. Master in electronics. Weapon development. Degree in advanced chemistry and physics. Degree in biology. We can course in torture. Okay, that's uh, that's interesting. You know, he's all smiling, but we know what's behind this smile. MP warbot. Biological weaponry. Target acquisition bullets. 
and a few more like weird top secret projects with classified details. A lot more top secret projects. Uh, as the most highly respected and qualified scientist in his field of work, upon development, he has quickly risen to head scientist here at, at the facility. All further information classified. All right, and we have also the chief, uh, the guard chief over here, strong as an ox and about as big as on uh, one two former captain of special forces unit, expert in armed and unarmed combat, amazing endurance, master of torture. Fired by the facility after he'd proven himself time and time again as the perfect soldier and leader. All further information classified. Interesting research findings. Oh, this is like what we obtained. And it's interesting that if you keep replaying all this, like keep going up and up. But technically from one playthrough you'd have like 8 scientists killed, 6 subjects killed, 11 guards, and there you go. Resulting in 7th weapon tested, 4 recommended. And 11 total attempts. Alright, and also are the outtakes, which I really loved. Uh, they were like so hilarious. Like, you gotta check them out. <laughs> wow. There must be some very sturdy doors. Oh, well, that was a misfire accident. <laughs> okay. <laughs> It's embarrassing. <laughs> Actually, I think that would have been a much more effective way of elimination. Sure, that would have resulted in the loss of the war bot and, like, you know, probably... I don't know how many thousands of dollars it is to create him. I just say that it, it would be, like, such a, a much faster way. You, know, you wouldn't have to, like, work with his AI and with his, like... Uh, muscles like make him like do like specific attacks and be able to dodge and block and attack and also like save all these things although those are not really that hard to program but uh, just program him that the first time he takes a hit he just blows up and there you go you have the perfect execution method and yeah that was die in style so it's it's a cool flash game i'll leave a link in the description for it you know if you want to like check it out for yourself but it's a very old one and uh, goddamn i know a lot of these games i've uh i've played them a lot when i was a kid and it's it's very very like i don't know a lot of nostalgia coming back to it i don't know why i chose this one i it, I don't think there's any particular reason, but I really love this one, it's style of it, you know, death style basically. So uh, yeah, all that being said, hope you guys enjoyed watching, leave a like and a subscribe, and I'll see you next time with what I'm going to make. Bye bye!